Hey, welcome to the very first video we're putting together about the opportunity of gigs on ships. My name is Fred. And I'm Bobby. And we are coming to you from the beautiful island of Hawaii. So aloha and welcome. Are you a talented performer looking to take your career in show business to the next level? Have you dreamed of having steady bookings in world-class showrooms? Do you crave a life of travel and adventure? then you're going to want to pay very close attention to this presentation. If you are like I was, you might be hearing from people who are telling you that show business is a nice hobby, but you need to get a real job. There can be a lot of obstacles in your path when you are trying to achieve your dreams. But I'm here to tell you that a career in show business is a reality, and in fact it is a real job. It's true. Fred and I have been traveling the world for many years, living like jet setters, treated like celebrities, because we are guest entertainers on cruise ships, and you can be too. I know what it was like to want a place to perform in front of enthusiastic audiences, in grand theaters. I myself dreamed of working in Las Vegas and having my own showroom. That is, until I realized it was a ton of work, requiring me to wheel and deal with ticket brokers and to four-wall the showroom. Who needs that? I would have gone bankrupt. In my early years, I spent many a day sitting by the phone waiting for a job to come in. Then, when it finally did, it was a gig in a hotel ballroom for 50 people, and the stage, if I even got one, was a set of risers that creaked and buckled as I walked on them. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe you are currently working the fair circuit on an outdoor stage that is really a flatbed trailer with the wind blowing you all over the fairgrounds. Whatever your situation is, I have a feeling that you might be getting discouraged. But you haven't given up completely because you are here. And by signing up for Gigs on Ships, you've taken the first step in a series of steps that could change your life forever. Keep watching this video so we can provide you with valuable information as you set sail on a voyage into travel, adventure, and stardom. Let's talk about one of the number one benefits of working at sea, which is... What is it for you? Ultimately, the sea. This is going to be something that you see on the regular every day, and whether and you like the waves lulling you to sleep or just the sound of the ocean, this is a top benefit for me. And it may not look exactly like this. It could be more like... Getting paid to travel and see the world is a top benefit of working on a cruise ship. Right, and if you're a headline entertainer, you probably work at most, what, two nights a week. And the rest of the time, you get to enjoy all the amenities of the cruise ship and all the great ports that you get to visit. So it's an amazing opportunity in that respect. What other job will pay you to travel the world? Even being a flight attendant, takes you to exotic locations, but you're working for the majority of it. You have to turn right around and go back home. You have to turn right around home. and go back, where on this situation, you unpack, you move into your cabin, and you're visiting exotic destinations all over the world, and somebody's paying you to do it, and you stay for a relatively lengthy period of time so that you get to enjoy that experience. But maybe more important for an entertainer is the audience. And boy, that's such good news, isn't it, Bobby? Yes, built-in audience, that basically is there to have a great time. They're already in a good mood. So um, let me paint the picture for you. On a cruise ship, you have a captive audience. You have a number of people that have literally nowhere else to go except the theater that night. You have one of the most beautiful, well-equipped theaters you've ever seen in your life. Everything is laid out perfectly. They have the very best in lighting and sound. There's a team of people backstage that are willing and able and it's their job to make you look really, really good. So you have a rehearsal, you lay everything out, and then comes showtime. You have a beautiful dressing room, you get yourself ready. People file in, they fill up every room in the house in this beautiful theater. The lights dim, the MC, the cruise director, he comes out, everybody already knows him, they like him. He's, uh, he talks about things that are going to happen, and he says, you know what, I have a very special friend who's gonna come out and entertain you next. He introduces you, you get a great round of applause, at the curtain parts, the spotlight shines on you, all eyes are on you. To me, that was the dream of show business. 
and show business has moved out to sea. So we aren't, yeah, we're not schlepping we're not tickets. Four walling, two walling, none of that. It's all done for you. All you have to do is show up with a great show, have a great time with that audience. And here maybe a benefit number three is there's um, sort of a recurring booking. So if you go out, do a good job, and we'll talk about that in future videos, then you're asked back. So it's not like you're hustling new gigs all the time. Right. You can work for the same cruise line for years on end, which is exactly what we've done, right? Right, and while we are coming to you from the beautiful island of Hawaii, we have seen most of the world and somebody else has paid us to do it. Bobby, what other opportunities or, or great parts of being a cruise ship entertainer are there? Well, I know one thing that I love is not having to worry about what to cook every day. <laughs> it's really nice knowing that the you know food is there for me, somebody else is thinking about it, and all I have to do is decide what I'm going to eat that day. World-class chefs yeah. making your meals for you. And yep. I mean, a lot of the benefits of working on a cruise for a guest entertainer are similar to those as being a guest on a cruise because essentially we have guest entertainer status, which means we have passenger status and have a lot of the same privileges that the passengers have, we just also get to do our show while we're there. So it's a really great uh, situation. And unpacking once, having somebody else cook for you, clean for you, and pay you to see all these exotic they locations. They make your bed, they take yeah. out the garbage. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. In fact, in a, our next video, perhaps, we'll take you inside one of our cruise ship cabins so you can see what it's like to actually live on board. A lot of the cruise ships also have fitness centers and gyms, so if you love to work out, then you can take advantage of that. If you're like Fred and myself, where you like to get out into the ocean and be active, we take advantage of scuba diving and hiking and a lot of other outdoor activities that we've been fortunate enough to do all over the world. That's a big one for me. It's a life of adventure. I always wanted to do that, and this allows me to. It's hard to find anything that is negative about taking your act out to sea. If we're gonna be honest in this first video though, I would say one thing is, it is a lot of travel. So decide whether or not you love to travel, you don't like to travel. If you, I mean, I assume if you're here watching this video that you have an itch to travel and take, take your act out to sea. So some people might consider the traveling the worst part of the job, but that lasts one day. And then you're, then it, you're on a beautiful cruise ship and, and life is great. I would say travel is involved in most entertainment. Um, in this case, so you get to go to your venue and unpack your suitcase. And then you're only, what, it, it's like a five minute walk at least to work right. every time that you do it. So yeah. your commute, your stress level goes way, way down in a cruise ship type job. Yeah. So I think it's, that's a benefit. It's really tough to come up with negatives for working at sea. Possibly seasick, but guess what? There's a cure for that, and we're gonna tell you about it in Gigs on Ships. <laughs> well, ba basically, we're gonna tell you how to overcome anything that might be a perceived negative about working at sea. And we're gonna highlight all of the positives because we've been doing this for a combined many, many years. Yeah, well, let's not put a number on that right now. Yeah. Hey, but Bobby, I wanna talk about the elephant in the ocean, right? There's an elephant in the ocean? Well, oh. yeah, so cruises have shut down. They've been closed for a number of months, uh, almost two years, really, because of this virus, this That's pandemic. Right. Yeah. So right now is a unique opportunity. There's been a reset in the industry. Cruise lines are slowly uh, sending their fleet back out to sea, and that means they're right now stocking those ships with entertainers. And it's a new opportunity it, if you've never been in the market before. It is a new opportunity, and let's talk about why. There are a couple of factors that are affecting the talent pool that was already at sea. One of those being that some people aren't comfortable getting vaccinated, or some people just simply maybe they are vaccinated, but they're not comfortable going back to sea yet for whatever reason. Maybe their family situation changed. Maybe they found a permanent job during the pandemic and they've decided to transition out of the entertainment industry. There are a lot of factors affecting um, the, the going back into cruising. So, but it opens up it new opens opportunity. up a lot of new opportunity. Thank you for entertainers who are looking to break into the business. Now is an excellent opportunity time. And I would say there's even been a little bit of a changeover or a shuffle in the um, entertainment 
Booker's side. So there are new people in charge, and um, so they're looking at new acts, people that they haven't had a history with. So again, that opens up a different kind of opportunity than we've had before, and that could affect you. So stick with us, come back for our other three videos, and we'll explain those opportunities a little more deeply. And in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful Hawaiian ocean. Yeah. <laughs> you got, uh, you got. It's me! <laughs> yeah, let's try it again.